I've been all I've been before. A father, a mother, a daughter, a son. The threads of their lives are all rattling undone. Something is needed to switch the mess time as a string you might use when you're flying a kind. Chim 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 Say to Mr. Bates. What's all this emotion? Precision and order, that's all that I ask. The running of a household, a straightforward task. The children, the servants, or all your domains. Start the main sovereign, a shiny tree blade. Coat! Six and nine the last four months, and they've all been unqualified disasters. A nanny should A nanny is a paragon who suffers the fool. A nanny's a stalwart. Our children would gain by having such a nanny and shall be treated. Briefcase. Umbrella. If only we could find someone like your own nanny. Human alive can meant Mrs. Andrews stands with efficiency. Besides, we can never afford some of her caliber. Now place an advertisement in the Times saying that Jane and Michael Banks require the best possible nanny at the lowest possible wage. Father, we've written our own advertisement. What on earth? Please, George, I think we should hear it. If you want this choice position, have a cheery disposition, rosy cheeks, no warts. That's the part I put in. Play games, all sorts. You must be kind, you must be witty, very sweet and very pretty. Out of all the ridiculous... George, please. Take a song out to skip a trace. Sing songs, bling, sweet bling. That's quite enough time you're up for one day. Now would you please go to the nursery and let me get to work. George, they were only trying to help. It won't help anyone to make me late. Precision and order, that's all that I ask. Running of a household, a straightforward task. The children, the servants, are all your domain. We start remain a sovereign. You remain a sovereign. Of cherry tree I've come an answer to the advertisement. What advertisement? We're not placing the advertisement. Now let's see. Play games of sorts, which I most certainly can. Take us on outings, give us treats. Michael, it's our advertisement. Rosy cheeks and fairly pretty. There's no objection on that score, I hope. Oh, uh, uh, none at all. I'm glad to hear it. But oh, take it up with Mrs. Bates. She manages that side of things. Nothing domestic has anything to do with me. And don't forget the references. I make it a rule never to give references. Oh, I see. I'll see the children now. Thank you. Of course. You're fine. They're very nice children. Now this is over. Mary Poppins, Jane, don't stare. And close your mouth, Michael. We are not a codfish. Best foot forward, spit sport. Miss Brill, we have a new Mary. She passed it into me then. Well, I did.
A very tidy nursery, I must say. Tidier than I was expecting. Who's responsible for that? Miss Me! I am. I like to keep things neat. Do you indeed? Well, I look forward to making use of that. If there's one thing I appreciate, it's child is what I could depend on. Now, first things first, I always say, the proper place to hang hat is on hat stand. <laughs> There's nothing in it. You'd better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. Mary Poppins, how could you know what we wanted in Annie when we made our list? Your list? I'm not an item in the weekly shop, thank you very much. How did you come then? It's as if the wind just blew you here. It did. Now, stand right there. Just as I thought, a noisy, mischievous, troublesome little boy. You're making that up! A noisy, mischievous, troublesome... Now you. <laughs> Thoughtless, short-tempered and untidy. I don't believe you. Let me see. What about your measurement, Mary Poppins? I'm practically perfect in every way. If I had a fault, it would never dare to show. I'm so practically perfect in every way. Now, perhaps you have a few questions. Not temperamental. Never. Not ratty or gross. The very thought. Do you say tender when the going gets tough? Quite the contrary. Do you eat stories with that? Mm -hmm. I have objections to playing with us. Some minor improvements may not go on this, but at all times you must remember this. I like games, but I choose them. That's, That's not fair. fair. I didn't say it was fair. I said I was. Practically perfect, and here's the end. I does what I likes and I likes what I do. Today I'm a screever, and as you can see, a screever's an artist of finest degree. And it's only a work from me, oh memory. Stop right where you are. I know that silhouette anyone, Mary Poppins. It's nice to see you, Bert. Well, I must say, you do look swell. He can't really know you. You've only just arrived. I wasn't born one minute before I walked in your house, Michael Banks. Have you met these two, Bert? I've seen them running around, chasing a kite. Well, it isn't a real kite. So what are you all up to? Mary Poppins says it's a game. It's called A Walk in the Park. Some game. I'd rather eat spinach. Come along, Bert. You can't come with us, you're too dirty. And we don't want to go to the stinky park anyways. Oh yes, you do. Because when you walk with Mary Poppins, you go to places you never dreamed of. All that it takes is a spark. Then something as plain as a park becomes a wonderland. All you have to do is look anew. Why it's a jolly all the day with Mary 
Mary makes your heart so light. Oh, really? When the day is gray and old and airy, Mary makes the sun shine bright. Don't talk nonsense, guys. Oh, happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dove. I'm the faintest idea what? When Mary holds you round, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. You look brass for all of us. Oh, it's a jolly old day with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. Come on, you two. Boring, just, just like I've been any thinking. Pops are good for us. It's just statues of St. Mary's. I don't understand all the fuss. Is she doing it to spite us? We could lose a bow and that helps us all apart. I tell you what, she seems so different, but I bet she's not. There is nothing to excite us in the park. Which was that? Why, Ron, you know, when you take a walk with Mary, anything can happen. Stand a dog to see a statue take a gentle jog. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that it's Mary that we love. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Mary makes you all so loud. When the day is rain ordinary, Mary makes the sun shine. The statue? You wouldn't have a proof, but... If you knew that, then why'd you do it? Could I... Daddy, could I have a kite? A real one? Could you fly it? You could always teach me. And when would I have time to do that? Now, would you please let me get on? Good night. Poor Michael. All he cares about is flying kites. 
I used to love flying kites at his age, but my nanny, Miss Andrews, soon frightened it out of me. Is it out of the question to do without a nanny? Don't be absurd. All the best people have nannies, so the less can do the charity work and entertain. Which reminds me, how's your tea party coming on? I'm not sure. It seems odd to send out invitations to people I hardly know. But the people you should know. Remember, by ye friends shall ye be judged. But that's the point. They're not my friends. Winifred, dearest, I'm only thinking of you. Are you going to say something to Mary Poppins this afternoon? I don't think so. All right, but be sure she's doing things our ways and not hers. <laughs> Tides can turn, sink or swim, see where you learn. Me, I was told when I was small, just learn a trick, so I learned them all. Chim chimini, chim chim tree. The cake ready, Mrs. Brill? Almost. It's too hot to be touched, or ice for that matter. Are you quite sure you know how to ice it? Quite sure. And in case you're rude, I have not been estranged by the fairies for a total nincompoop. Okay, I'll just go up and check the drawing room then. I'd like to be helpful. I'd like to be rich, but Destiny's not otherwise. <laughs> Mother wants you in the drawing room. She says you can tell Robert and I what to do. Does she indeed? Please, Miss Brill. I don't mind. Honest. All right, I'll give you one task and one task for me. Put the icing tools next to the cake. Do you think you can manage that? Is that all? For you, yes. For me, no. I swear, a slave in ancient Rome was on a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. Michael, why don't we make the icing? Because we don't know how? Don't be so feeble. Get the eggs in the flour. There are eggs in icing? There are in mine. <laughs> Robson and I, bring me the cake. 